Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box, Gangster Times. So guys, just the other day, I reported on Katie and Nelson, the man from Mitcham, who admitted an R charge and kidnap on a schoolgirl in a uniform. And I've got an update on the story. So it's believed that he was actually attacked seconds after arriving at prison. So it's believed that Cadian Nelson, who's 27 years old, needed plastic surgery after being wounded by another inmate as prison officers checked him into HMP Wandsworth in South London. A prison service spokesperson said a prisoner was treated in hospital for an injury to his cheek and police are investigating. So Nelson pleaded guilty to an R charge, kidnap and making a threat to kill at Kingston Crown Court on Monday. He crept up behind his 13-year-old victim before putting his hand over her mouth to silence her screams and Mitchum in South London. The attack happened as the girl walked to school on November 3rd last year. He ordered the girl to take her coat and blazer off before he assaulted her. And police were alerted after a woman, a hero, called 999 claiming her daughter had seen a man grab a young girl. Big respect to that woman. So it's believed that one of the women's relatives is said to have interrupted Nelson who was pretending the victim was his sister. But the victim said Nelson was a stranger as he fled the scene, leaving his jacket behind. The young girl was in tears. So footage of the abduction was widely shared on social media as the police urged people not to take the law into their own hands. And the reason why they said this is because when people found out who he was, people turned up at his mum's yard. So Nelson was arrested in tooting hours after the attack. Believe that after he was arrested, the victim pointed him out in an ID parade. So the prosecution was able to present compelling evidence that made clear that it was Cady and Nelson who had carried out this sickening attack. The prosecution's case included video footage and DNA evidence from the lighter and tobacco pouch found inside Nelson's jacket pocket, which he left behind. The prosecution said they would like to thank members of the family who saw what happened and took quick action in alerting the police to the incident. The young victim has shown remarkable courage during these proceedings. And I hope this conviction will go some way in providing her with closure. So Nelson is due to be sentenced in the same court on the 13th of August. So once again, I want to say big respect to that woman and her daughter who actually saw what Katie and Nelson was doing and reported it and recorded it. So guys, it's official. Katie and Nelson was attacked in prison and it's believed that he's had to have plastic surgery on his cheek. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.